in Scotland, our soils are vital. They're valuable, but they're also vulnerable. In this video, we hear from experts why our soil matters for policy and for science. My name is Andrew McBride. I work for Scottish Natural Heritage as a wetland ecologist. I'm based at Battleby near Perth. Peatlands are very important in Scotland. They cover 20% of the land area of Scotland. I'm a peatland restoration manager, so how peatlands work and how they function is very important. It's also very important from a society point of view, from the point of view of biodiversity, but also water quality and also carbon that goes back into the atmosphere. What we're doing to protect this very valuable and important soil, peat, is we're actually restoring areas and also ensuring that areas of peat are managed to stabilise that peat, but also from our own point of view, a balanced functioning peatland as well ensures that we get clean water, reduce water coming off in flood conditions as well. My name's Emma Goodyear and I'm the wetland ecologist for the Scottish Environment Protection Agency based in the Stirling office. I've been working in peatland habitats for a number of years now, both from an academic background and now working for Scotland's environmental regulator, SEPA, to improve the environmental impact of various developments such as upland wind farms, but also to look at monitoring and protecting the environment through water level monitoring and giving restoration and management advice. So this area of peatland habitat that I'm sat on right now is an area of raised bog at Blowhorn Moss. There's a lot of deep peat beneath my feet at the moment. There's about eight metres of this peat soil beneath me and that's formed as a result of carbon storage from peat forming plants on the surface of the bog over about the last 8,000 years. So part of my job as CEPA's wetland ecologist is to look at the habitat information that's input with such development applications such as wind farms and hydro schemes. And I would look at peatland information on a map and try and assess which areas are the best quality, where development should be avoided, but also where mitigation can be included in development to minimise the impacts on these important peatland habitats. And working as SEPA, we also try to minimise the excavation of peat soils, which are a really important carbon store and can result in a lot of carbon being released to the atmosphere when disturbed. I'm Julia Garrett from Forestry Commission Scotland. I'm the policy advisor for water, soils and species. I'm based in Sylvan House in Edinburgh, but I work all around Scotland with our conservancies and districts. Soil is really important for forestry, we're learning more and more about it. We certainly need to have good soils to grow good trees. The soils provide nutrients, water and energy for the trees to grow. So we're learning more and more that we really need to look after the soils that we have. But first of all, we need to think about how it is that forests also contribute back to soil. So for example, the trees will soak up flood water and spread it around and the leaves and the twigs and the seeds will fall to the ground as organic matter which will help soil biodiversity and the roots will help bind together soil and that helps prevent erosion. So we need to make sure that our rules and regulations that forest managers have to keep to will help promote those aspects and make sure that they don't do anything to damage the soil. So for example, we're here at the Hermitage in Dunkeld and we have some beautiful forests here. The reason that they've done so well is because we've worked with forest planners to make sure that they're sited and maintained in the best possible way. And that's by looking at the type of trees that we have here and putting them on the right soil type. It's according to the type of soil, the climate, the topography. And those things in combination will mean that we have good, healthy, sustainable forests. My name is Mark Aitken. I'm a Principal Policy Officer on land for SEPA and I'm based in Stirling. Soil is extremely important to SEPA. For example, soil acts as a very good storage of carbon, but if soil is mismanaged, the carbon comes out as well as other greenhouse gases. So soil has a major influence on climate change. Soil is also very important for water. The way we manage soil can affect water quality and it can also affect the risk of flooding in Scotland. One of the main risks to water quality in Scotland is diffuse pollution from soils. So SEPA is very actively working with farmers to reduce diffuse pollution and to work at ways that farmers can better protect soils and better protect water courses. Another connection with our work is work we're carrying out on flood risk management. We know that soil management can have a big effect 
on the hydrology, the way that water moves from land to water courses, and therefore potentially increasing downstream flood risk. Another area that SEPA is involved in is planning. SEPA is a statutory consultee for local authorities on development proposals. We as an organisation will look at these proposals and make comments on the impacts of soils and the functions of these soils of the proposals. Finally, an important area of work for SEPA is sewage sludge and other wastes that can be applied to land. Of course, these wastes can have many benefits by supplying organic matter and nutrients to the soil, but they can also result in things like heavy metals such as lead, zinc and copper being added to soils. So we have a role in ensuring that soils do not receive large amounts of potentially toxic material.